What is going on everybody? My name is Nico. Welcome back to another Reg G video where we got Sableye next to a Groudon. It solves all of Groudon's problems. Much like the Sandy Shocks video that I made, uh, Groudon just loves being next to a gravity user and Prankster gravity with Sableye is very, very nice. Also having access to things like Will-O-Wisp and Quash is very beneficial. This team also features a Conkledur, which I think is really cool. And I'm keen to see what we can do with this team. This comes from Jalen over on Twitter at Jalen44. I'll have that link in the description below, but really cool looking team. And I'm keen to see what we could do with it. So question of the day is what is your favorite Prankster user? I like Sableye is a great example of one that is just super fun to use and pops up in very niche situations. But obviously we have things like Torn, we have things like Whimsicott. There's a lot of prankster users, Illumise, another one. A lot of prankster users that are very popular. So let me know yours in the comments below. But let's see what we could do here with Sableye and Groudon. Okay. Fluttermane and Conkledor actually doesn't seem terrible here actually doesn't seem bad and then i want raging bolt um what else do i want do i want groudon i think i do i think we have to leave the sableye at home if we want any chance of winning this battle i think that's just the way it is I'm going to swap in the Groudon here for the Conkledur. We're going to Terra Fairy immediately and just go for massive damage this turn. Alright, my Terra seems to be the only Terra that's going off. Unless I... I mean, I outspeed, so if they Terra... Oh, water, it'll be coming. I'm hoping they don't. That would be the ideal scenario for us, but I, I don't see why they wouldn't. Yep, here it comes. Terra water. Ooh, Terra ghost. Alright, that's fine. Doesn't really matter. I still do neutral damage. Thunder Wave. Okay. That sucks. We do still survive because of the sun. D-Gleam goes off. And I think I hard swap in my Raging Bolt here into the Groudon slot. I think I have to hard swap the Raging Bolt. Yeah, because they're going to bring in probably Kyogre to change the weather on me. That's why we swap Raging Bolt, because Raging Bolt at least has options um, into the, what's it called? Into the uh, Surging Strikes here. But it does go into the Flutter Main. Flutter Main's just going to go down. Gotta think what I want to do here. I think I do want to get in Groudon. Change the weather. I 
I'm gonna go for the heat crash here. And I'm going to Thunderclap just in case. They are gonna swap. I wonder if it's the Wochan. Oh, why am I dumb? Oh, they're gonna double swap. That could be the Wochan. Yes. Honestly, I'm okay with this. This isn't bad for us. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Oh, uh, so what we do is we get in Conkledur now. And we go for Electro Web. We gotta play the positioning correct. Conkledur comes to play. They go for Reflect, that's fine. Electroweb goes off. They didn't get rid of my son. Oh, but that doesn't KO Wo Chen. That's crazy. That's crazy. They get the Leech Seed set. That's actually wild. You know, I just thought of something. I went for Heat Crash onto the Kyogre earlier after they had already Terra Ghosted. Like, where's the sense in that? Uh, we're just gonna go for Mach Punch. They probably just protect, but that's fine. Um, and we're gonna Thunderbolt into the Urshifu slot. Yeah, they just protect there, that's okay. They go for Aqua Jet, that's gonna do negligible damage this turn. Mach Punch, obviously not gonna connect. And we're gonna get the KO here, which is beautiful. I'm glad they swapped the Wo Chen into that slot, because I made a goof, and I was like, oh, they're gonna Terra Grass, and they already had Terra Ghost Urshifu. So... Good thing on their part that they were silly and swapped in their Wochen. They are getting a ton of recovery though, I gotta say. Alright, in comes... Starts to rain. They have the Reflect up still, so I kind of think I have to go for a, a Drain Punch. Or I could just swap in Groudon here. I think I'm just going to swap Groudon in and go for a Thunderbolt. I think that's just going to work better in my favor. It also stops Wochan from getting a ton of recovery. Let's see what they do. Special attack boost. That's great damage there. They went for Ice Beam on a Groudon. That's whatever. And they went for Ruination. That's cool. Alright, so what needs to happen now is we Heat Crash onto the Wochan and we go for another T-Bolt. And they gave us the battle. That's a GG. Alright, Conkolder was actually useful there. What in the dancing shenanigans am I looking at right now? I kind of like these two. 
Um, Raging Bolt. I I want to bring Raging Bolt, but I think... What do I bring? Darn it. Groudon, and... I think I need my Sableye, honestly. Because Sableye is going to allow me to control the position of the battle more. Alright, what do we got? Oracorio Rabambi lead. Honestly, this is probably best case scenario as far as leads go, because we literally just click Heat Wave and D Gleam. Oracorio protects. We need to hit Rabambi. Please hit Rabambi. Thank you. Down it goes. We D Gleam. And we get rid of their Quiver Dance, so that's beautiful. No Quiver Dancing for you. Get out of here, Rabambi. Urshifu comes to play. It is a Water Urshifu. So I, I kind of just want to get Groudon in. Get Groudon in, go for a D-Gleam. That's what I want to do. Because that allows me, if it's Scarf, to outspeed it and also survive the hits from it. Now, I'm predicting there's going to be two Terras this turn. It's going to be my Terra, and it's going to be uh, the Urshifu. That's what I predict. So, Terra Fairy comes out. We should survive the hits just fine in the sun. Here it comes. Care of whatever that Urshifu is. Care of water. That's fine. That is A okay with me. Because now we just D Gleam it up. Oh, yeah. Searching Strikes. Who do you go into, though, is the question. Into my Groudon. Honestly, we're taking that really well for being super effective damage. Like, that's as much as it would do to my Flutter main, which is, I'm a little shocked. But nice. Um, and then they go for what? With the Oracorio, do they Quiver Dance? Revelation Dance, okay. I mean, I Heat Crash the Oracorio and I go for a, another D Gleam here. Leaving my Sableye and Chiyu in the back for some shenanigans with Gravity and Overheat if they have Shadow Rider in the back. That leaves a lot of wiggle room. I gotta say, it leaves a ton of wiggle room. Oracorio's just gonna protect. We get the D Gleam. We're gonna see a Urshifu. Down you go. Okay. And I'm assuming it is going to be the Shadow Rider. It's the Tornadus. Was not expecting that, I have to say. Um, we're going to go for this, and we're going to go for a D-Gleam. Was not expecting that, but that's okay. I'm really not all that concerned, still. I'd imagine they just go for Tailwind. It's kind of their only out. They kind of have to go for the Tailwind. There it is. It's really kind of their only out. And I still outspeed. 
So it doesn't matter. So down goes the Torn. Well, the Oricorio, and Torn's gonna go down to Heat Crash. And that's gonna be a GG. And honestly, even if they had Shadow Rider in the back, with the ability to set gravity and overheat with Chi Yu into that, we were in a really good position regardless. Uh, even if they double KO'd my two out in the lead there, it, we were in a great position. That is a Gly score on that team. Okay. All right. Very interesting. Um. We do not have icy wind here, which I think is a little, a little disappointing. So, what do I want to do? I think these two could be pretty decent as a lead. Um, I don't hate these two. In the back, I'm definitely bringing my choice scarf, uh, Chi Yu. That's gonna be a lot of fun, and I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards Raging Bolt here. Um. I think Raging Bolt could actually be pretty decent here. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna go Raging Bolt. Grimmsnarl and... Glamour. Okay. I think they Terra Glamora, so I'm gonna go for Quash actually. Oh, they don't Terra. That's not good. That's not good. That's really not good. Sets of spikes. Okay. Oh, they're just mortal spinning. Very interesting. Okay. I wish I just went for gravity. But I assumed, you know, every Glamora is running uh, Power Herb Meteor Beam. I just kind of assumed that was going to be the case here. Uh, we are going to set the gravity. We're going to go for the shenanigans here. Go for the shenanigans. Gravity gets set. They go for power gem. Okay. I'm good with that. Little recovery on the Sableye here. That's very nice. Prespice Blades is going to go off. That gives us the Glamora. More spikes are going to get set. They go for foul play into my Groudon. Doesn't feel great. Definitely doesn't feel great. What comes into play? Lyscore. I think I'm just going to do this. All right. I mean, I could have probably guessed they would do that. Grimstar is taking a lot of chip. They go for another foul play. That's probably the end of my Groudon, yep. Okay. We get in Chi Yu while the gravity is still in play. That's really crucial. We are going to get poisoned and it's going to suck.
and we go for heat wave here and also go for foul play heat wave and foul play is big here There's the light screen. Great damage. Great damage. The stable eye outspeed. They go for acrobatics. Okay, that's fine. That didn't do anything. Foul play goes off. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, that did nothing. All right. <laughs> that did no damage. Did I have no investment in there or what? Likely the Shadow Rider coming in. No, it's the Umbreon. I can work with that. Alright, um... So, I mean, all we do this turn is go for a Heat Wave, and I'm honestly probably just gonna Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, they're just gonna protect, get some recovery back. That's fine with me. We missed the Willow. Ah, uh, of course. Oh, they're... Duh, it's Prankster move. That, that makes sense. I didn't think about that. Go for Snarl. Sunlight fades. They get a little recovery on Umbreon. There's the poison heal. Get in our Raging Bolt here. We're Terra Electric, which I'm not a huge fan of here. Um... I think I have to click Draco. Unless Heat Wave just KOs, it doesn't. Okay. We're faster though, so we get rid of the Gliscor. They could just win off of Poison, which would be absolutely devastating. Here comes a Snarl. That would be crazy if they won off of uh, just poison damage. But it's definitely in the cards. And they didn't Terra, so they might have been saving the Terra. Gravity return to normal. We can go for Heat Wave, and I think we just have to Terra Electric, start clicking T-Bolts. It's our best bet. If we could get a uh, paralysis, that would be really big. Heat wave goes off. A little bit of chip. A paralysis on the Umbreon would be really big for us. There's the moonlight. They're going to protect. Yeah, we need a Paralysis and we need a, a big crit. The Umbreon... Oh, yeah, I think we're just going to lose the Poison, guys. I think we're actually just going to lose the Poison. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's GG. Here comes the Terrestrialization. They're probably Terra Fairy. Who cares? Most Umbreons are Terra Fairy. No, they're Terra Dark. For 
paralysis. Yikes. Yeah, I think we just lose the poison. GG, I mean, I, hey, you got me. You got me. You did get me. Wow. Okay. That's a good stall team. It's a good stall team. That's what the Gliscor is for. Got it. Um, uh, I mean, the only prayer we have, we send one more T-Bold out. Okay, we hopefully get a para. We don't. They snarl once more. The literal only prayer we have is a crit Draco Meteor this turn. We gotta see where we're at after Poison Chip. Yeah, we do not take anything else. So, we have to crit Draco, and even if we do crit Draco, I don't think it actually KOs. <laughs> GG, you got me! You got me! That's... I. You know what? You did the thing. You did the thing. Well done. Well done. Good poison stall there. I like it. That makes sense. Honestly, thinking back on the team, they have tox effects as well. It's definitely just like, I'm going to poison you and sit. GG's. GG's. There's a team once more for you guys. Really cool seeing Sableye and Conkledur on this team. Uh, I like both of these Pokemon. You don't see them on a ton of different teams. So I really do like it. Obviously, the gravity is very nice for both Groudon as well as Chiyu. Uh, really good from the Sableye's perspective. And then Conkledur just being as slow as it is under Trick Room actually gives you a lot of play into the Ice Horse, which we didn't get to see in this video. But it does give you a lot of play in that uh, scenario, especially with access to Wide Guard. So pretty cool to see it here on this team. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like and sub for more like this in the future. And also be sure to check out the Discord where you can share Reg G teams like this one to be featured in future videos. But until next time, peace.